Hey, what's up everybody? It's Eddie Blue, and I'm just going to show you how to quickly make a mod of Grand Turismo 2 using all the new and existing tools in the GT Vol Tools download. Okay, so first things first, well, we need an ISO to modify. So here I've got Grand Turismo 2 US 1.0. And first thing you should do is really make a copy so that, you know, if you modify it and want to go back to the baseline, you don't have to unmodify it before you get there. So I'm just going to copy that, and then what you should, what you need to do is get the vol out of it. So if you have an ISO, you can probably use like 7-zip or WinRAR to extract it that way. But since I have a bin, then I have to mount it, and then I can get at it that way. So after we've got to got the vol accessible, what do we need to do? Well, you need to get to GT Vol Tool GUI. If you like the command line, you can use GT Fold Tool. It does the same thing. It's just a command line app instead of a GUI. And what we can do, uh, what we need to do, is get to the vault and just go click on it. So if you've extracted it, click on it. Or if you mounted it like this, there you go. Click on it. Then browse the. This is where to extract all the files because that's what we need to do. So I'm going to go and make a new folder and call it Vault Files. Oh no! Ooh, 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 where are we going? Vault Files. There we go. And then you need to click the Explode GT2 Volta directory button, and then it will go about extracting all the files within the vault that make up the game into the individual files, so they're easier to get at and modify. Uh, since this is a bit of an old laptop, it's going to take a while since there are about, what is it, 10,000 files, I think, something like that, so it's going to take a little while. So, and, uh, oh. Not quite finished yet. Well, discs trying to catch up. Come on, there we go, it's finished. And then in Vol Files we have all the files that make up the game. Well, most of them anyway. And the ones we're actually interested in are in GT Menu, and they are common pick dot dat. These are where the backgrounds are stored, the menu backgrounds. And then there's five languages, and each one has its own GT Menu dat dot dat, which are the foregrounds of the menus. So now what we need to do is we can't quite edit them yet so we need because we need to get the individual backgrounds out of the big archive. So now what we need to do is go back to GT Vault Tools and get I mean the vault tool, the tools, you know what I mean, and click on GM Creator. And first things first it will pop up the create uh, the settings if you've never used it before. And what we need to do here is pick which version of Gran Turismo 2 we're using. Each one has a slightly different layout for the icons that show up, you know, like in the top left corner there's the world map icon, the home icon, the go race and the game status icon. Each one has a slightly different layout of where they are, so we need to tell it which one it is so they will display in the tool properly and then export properly. So I'm using US 1.0, so I need to click on that one, and OK, and then we get the main screen. And before we can start drawing all our nice squares, what we need to do is get to tools and split GT menu dat dot dat. And then we need to go and extract the file that I just mentioned. As I said we use I'm English, so I'm using the USA one. So I need to click on that and I need to pick where to explode all the individual files to, which is not the vol files one. I'm going to make a new folder, call that GM files because the foregrounds are called GM files. And that's going to go away and extract the 3400 or so files. And it says extracted and decompressed, I can't quite change the text. It extracts them and it show, it makes ping pictures of them so you can see what the backgrounds are without having to load them individually into here and go, no, I don't want that one. No, I don't want that one. And while it goes away and does that, again, it's an old laptop, so it's going to take a while. It's 3300 of them. 3400. 3500? No, not 3500. 3500. And there you go. Did that. So now if we go out to the directory, we can see that there are 3382 files plus a picture directory, and in here are all the menu foregrounds. You can see the first ones are all the flavor text, but if we go further on, we see more familiar menus. So anyway, yeah, once we've extracted them all, now what can we do? So these are all the compressed foreground files, and GM Creator can load the compressed foreground files. So now if we 
now when we want to start editing them what needs to happen is we go to file load foreground image and then we need to get not there but in here then you can show gc2 files yep there we go and the one that i'm using is 975 and you won't quite recognize which is which one this exactly is but it's the foreground to the daihatsu dealership and what we have here is these are part of the image so we can't move these or edit these because these are actually a part of like the the foreground picture but these boxes which define various parts of the actions that happen on the screen you can move these around in this tool but you know what I don't like these boxes being down here on the bottom so what I want to do is what I'm going to do is load a different foreground so the, the game will use a different picture and I've got one called new front here and bump I've put all the boxes at the top so what we're going to do is edit this foreground by moving all the boxes that are normally down at the bottom and we're sticking them up at the top and there we go yes it says fancy because I couldn't fit special in the box <laughs> that's why it says fancy okay so there we go now we've done that moved them all up there and we've got the we'll leave the status bits at the bottom you notice here that the the back button isn't showing on here that's because the actual picture of the back button is on the foreground the back uh, let me get it straight it's on the background and not on the foreground so it doesn't show up but the box is defined what where the action is happens on the foreground so that's why it shows up there with no picture behind it anyway when we've edited it all what we can do is export gm file and then we need to i'm going to overwrite the, the one we had just for simplicity's sake because i'm going to put these back into one big file and put them in the game so let's save yes it already is this yes i want to save it and there we go it's been saved so now what we have in that directory is well there you go it's been modified and you can tell it's much smaller now 2k as opposed to whatever it was before so what we've done after we've done that we need to make a GT menu that ready for putting back into the game so now we're going to do the reverse of what we did and go users Adrian downloads GT2 the GM files click on there and OK that's what we want to put in the wall where do we want to put the big file let's put it in yeah, go on, let's be cheeky, let's overwrite the vol files one. So let's go back to where we did this, let's click on that. Do we want to overwrite that one? Yes, we want to do that as well. And here we go, it's going to put them all, ooh, that was quick. So we go, now we've got our overwritten, we've now got a new bunch of foregrounds in there. So now we need to make a new vol that we can put into the game. And for that we go back to the first tool, and we need to swap these, we need to change this button, this eyeball because we can't write to the CD drive the fake CD drive so I'm going to make a new vol, put it in here and call it gt2.vol because that's important to call it that and then the directory I want to use is the same one as it was so I don't need to change that so don't click that and then what we need to do is click make gt2vol from directory and what this is going to do is go and Oh, that was quick. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and we've got our new vol here, which is the. It'll be approximately the same size as the old one was. And there we go. So now what? Now we've got a vol. Now what we need to do is we need to put it into the vol. Uh, put it into the ISO file. So if you've mounted it, you need to unmount it so that we can modify it. And for this, we need a new tool that's in the GT vol tools, and that's ISO file replace. So if we click on this, we get three options that we need to fill in so the ISO bin we need to change is the one we just had on here where is it? Uh, GT that one then we need to use this file which is the new file we're putting into the vol into the ISO or bin which is the vol we just made and then the replace file we need to replace we need to type the path of the file that's already in the ISO or bin and that is gt2.vol, because that's what it's called, and then we click go and this will launch this PSX mode 2 here which is a Spanish tool that somebody made for doing this and it's going to go away 
and it's going to again this is gonna there we go there we go it did it there we go it's got we've got so now we've got a new bin which has been modified so what we're going to do now is just to see if it works we're going to open bizarc this might this is going to be fun on this laptop with a video recording going but here we go we'll try it all right bizarc loaded so now we're going to open rom then we're going to click on the vol we just created I mean the ISO file, oh geez Louise, the bin we just created, there we go. And away we go. See, this is the unknown ROM, so it's actually been modified from the ones that BizHawk already knows, which is the original one. So this has been slightly modified. There we go, it's going to boot up. See at the top of the tab, is 1.0, so that's gone right so far. Let's start the game. Ooh, attention. Did it work? Ooh. I hope it worked. So this is 11 and a half minutes, I'm not getting back. Alright, so it was Daihatsu, so let's go to Daihatsu. And did it work? Yeah, see there we go. Now we've got all uh, all the boxes on the bottom of, that are usually down here. They've all disappeared because we changed that picture. And we made these boxes at the top part of the picture. So they're now showing at the top. And the curves, remember we moved the boxes. These little, these boxes here, we moved these up here. So now the cursor goes up here instead of down, being down at the bottom. And we can select them all. They all go where they're supposed to go if we click on this one. Then you see it goes here. And we've got new, we end up going there as well. And yeah, so you see that's how you do a simple edit of a Gran Turismo 2 menu foreground. What you can also do, right, let's put this on pause because that's going to be using a lot of things. So there are other things you can use. There are other things you can do in GM Creator. If you look at the tool, you can create and convert an image to a background, which will make it, which is basically exactly what we've just done, except we'd have to split and make a comma pick dot dot instead of the GT menu dot, and then we could put a new background into the game. Uh, I've done a video of that on Twitter somewhere. I, I don't have it right to hand, but anyway, yeah, you can do that, and like I said, you can do things like. Yeah, let's do this. Let's make a. Let's see if it crashes the game. It probably will do. All right. So if we make a new box, let's stick it down there. What we can do is make this display a car. So we want. Where is it? Where's it gone? Car display. There we go. So obviously this is a rough, and it, that wouldn't. It's not going to show a rough in the game. This is just an example in the viewer so you can see what it'll look like well you well you're editing it like you see you make it bigger make it smaller and all that sort of things this is just an example well you, you can turn these off if you go to show in the content and that gets rid of all the inner bits so you can just arrange the boxes better but anyway yeah let's do that let's export gm file again let's overwrite that one we overwrote before which was what was it 975 Okay, so that's been saved. So now we need to make another GT menu dot. I didn't plan to do this, so I'm sort of ooh, flying by the seat of my pants. So yeah, we need to make it. It's that one, isn't it? Yep. Then we can just overwrite the one we did before. Where did it go? Uh, where did that file go that we made? Oh, we overwrote that one, didn't we? Okay, yeah. Full files, duty menu, USA, this one, yep, and that was quick, right, this one, this one, there we go, yep, those are, okay, let's do that one, oh, it's going to take longer this time. 
Right, well that's doing that since we're gonna have to reload the ISO, let's just close the ROM in Bizhawk so that it doesn't keep a keep handle to it while we're overwriting it. Okay, that's finished, so now we've got our roll, let's put it back into the ISO bin. And that's finished too, so now let's load our not that one. Let's load that again. A modified one, and let's see what happens this time. Oh, if I unclicked pause, that would probably help. I do that all the time. Like, why isn't it working? It's like, oh yeah, it's on pause. I'm an idiot. Alright, we're back here, so let's make a safe step before I do this, just so... If it does crash the game first time, it doesn't... I don't have to go... Go for the whole loading again. So let's see what happens. Will it crash? Will it do nothing? I don't know. And it's going to do nothing. Alright, so hmm, didn't do anything, so let's let's see if we buy a car, will that make it happen? Let's go buy everybody's favourite, the midget. So you can edit these screens as well, like move things around and put different items on them and all that. Works for all types of foreground screens. And there you go, you see, now we've got the nice little midget. I, didn't expect, I sort of expected that to crash with no car being selected, but oh, it works fine. Now you can see, now we've got our Daihatsu dealership and it's got a, a midget spinning in it. What could be better? So yeah, that's just a little tutorial example on how to edit Gran Turismo to menu foregrounds. Uh, yeah. Happy editing.